بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ٹوڈے وی ویل سٹارٹ ٹیسٹنگ آف ہائپوتیسس فور پاپولیشن ویریئنس سگما اسکوائر اور اسٹینڈرڈ ایویشن سگما بفور دس وی ہیو ڈن ٹیسٹنگ آف ہائپوتیسس فار پاپولیشن مین وین سگما از نون اینڈ سگما از ان نون وی ہیو یوز ٹو ٹیسٹ ٹی ٹیسٹ اینڈ زی ٹیسٹ فار مین Same as the mean, there are six steps. The following steps are used in testing of hypothesis for population variance sigma square or standard deviation sigma. You know that if you take the square root of the variance is equal to sig standard deviation or sigma. Same as the sigma is given, you can take a square for, for variance sigma square. First step null hypothesis for mean we use the notation mu is equal to mu naught for variance we will use the notation sigma square is equal to sigma naught square. This sigma naught square is the value of sigma square. Alternate hypothesis is a parallel setup of the null hypothesis if this is equal to alternate will be not equal to. If null is less than equal to alternate will be more than. If null is more than equal to alternate will be less than. same as the mean. Third step level of significance alpha for the step test statistics we will use chi square test this is the notation of the chi square this complete term represent the one notation chi square read as chi square this read as chi square not chi square is equal to n minus 1 s square upon sigma naught square n is the sample size s square sample variance sigma square is the population variance. From this you will obtain the chi-square calculated value observed result. Fifth step critical region or rejected region same as the mean t-test, z-test we have three choices depend on the notation or symbol of the alternate hypothesis. For not equal to we divide the alpha by 2 but in this chi-square Chi square used for variance, variance is always positive, cannot be negative, so there is no negative sign. In T test and Z test, the values are same but sign is different, left hand side is negative, right hand side is positive. But in chi square test, chi square test used for variance, variance is always positive, both values are positive but values will be different. Because this value, this stable value will be obtained with the help of 1 minus alpha upon 2, this value using the alpha upon 2. So alpha is suppose 5%, so this alpha upon 2 will be 2.5%, 0.025, subtract from 1, you will obtain 0.975. So this value will be 0.975 and this will be 0.025. So both are different, table value will be different. This is the sketch diagram. The graph of the chi-square test is the skewed graph, right tail is long, you have done skewness in under the heading of the frequency distribution table. So right tail is long, is a positively skewed, is also called right tail test. The shaded area, colored area represent the rejected region or critical region, this is space, blank space, white area represent the acceptance region represented by 1 minus alpha. And second option depend on the less than high, less than third option more than. So number second, this is not first, this is second. Less than alternate is less than one minus alpha. There is no alpha upon two. For right hand side more than this will be alpha. There is no alpha upon two. So this left hand side shaded area one minus alpha comma mu. Right hand side shaded area represent the rejected region. or critical region when alternate is greater than. Six steps same as the mean, if the calculated value lies in the critical region, we reject the null hypothesis, otherwise accept the null hypothesis. So there are six steps. Now we will solve numerical. First question, a training instructor claims, claim indicate null hypothesis. That his training method are so efficient that the variance, claim is about variance of the time required by his trainees to complete a job does not exceed 30 seconds. Claim indicate null hypothesis, null hypothesis for variance indicate we will use the chi-square test, does not exceed means less than equal to, 
rotation of the null hypothesis will be less than or equal to 30 seconds. So, null hypothesis variance does not exceed less than or equal to 30 seconds. Alternate is a parallel setup, this will be more than. If a random sample n is the 21, sample size depends by n 21, train is yielded a variance is the sample variance s square 33 second. Do you think this evidence supported the instructor's claim use 5 percent level of significance alpha is the 5 percent. So, sigma square and s square is given first we will and after this we will find the table value for critical region substitute these values and s square sigma square 30 21 33 in this formula you will obtain 22. So, this is the calculated value observed result of the chi square test. Now, we will find the critical region alternate hypothesis is greater than. So, we will select this option greater than chi square alpha mu alpha 0 0.05 there is no divided by 2 degree of freedom 21 minus 1 20 n minus 1 same as the t test degree of freedom is n minus 1 20. So, how we find this table or this value we will use chi square table given on page number 6 and in your book. This is the chi square table alpha is here 0 0.05 degree of freedom is 20 the corresponding value is 31.410. So, we will write this value this table value expected result with 5 percent area in diagram 31.41 and this calculated value is less than 31 lies in the acceptance region. So, we will accept the null hypothesis. Accept the null hypothesis means this claim is true, we support the instructor's claim. The calculated value lies in the acceptance region and conclude that the instructor claims is correct because the question is instructor claim is correct or wrong or we support the instructor's claim do you think this evidence support the instructor's claim or not. So, we support the instructor's claim or accept the null hypothesis or accept the instructor's claim the time required to complete a job does not exceed 30 seconds. Okay. Now, next topic for same condition confidence interval confidence interval for population variance sigma square or standard deviation sigma. If s square is the variance of random sample of size n from normal population of 1 minus alpha this 100 percent into 100 percent confidence interval this is the part of the 100 percent for this we subtract from 1 minus alpha 100 percent confidence interval for sigma square is given by this is the formula of the confidence interval for population variance sigma square. So, end sample size s square variance we will find for this value from table with the help of alpha upon 2 and 1 minus alpha upon 2 and degree of freedom and then we will obtain the lower acceptable value and upper acceptable value for variance. The concept is same as the mean. So, we find with the help of confidence interval the lower and upper value of the variance. Now, we will solve question the weights of 10 boxes sample size 10 of orange juice selected at random from canes packed by a company are 15.4, 16.1 and so on 15.7 there are 10 observations you can find with the help of calculator or formula, but you have used you have to use in exam calculator for saving the time. So, you will obtain standard deviation and variance from calculator direct 0.149 n is the 10 degree of freedom will be n minus 1 9. So, n is 10 s square is this 0.149 now, first we will find the table value, two table value compute a 95 percent confidence interval means 1 minus alpha is 95 percent or 0.95. So, alpha will be equal to 5 percent. Okay. For this value divide by alpha by 2 
divide the alpha by 2 will be 0 0.025 a degree of freedom 9 and 1 minus 0 0.025 will be 0 0.975 a degree of freedom 9. So we will find first from table of the chi-square test degree of freedom is 9 alpha is 0 0.025 alpha is 0 0.025 degree of freedom is the 9 the value is 19.023 19.023 second value with the help of 0.975 degree of freedom 9 9 and this 0.975 this blue line indicate for 0.975 2.70 2.70 substitute these values in this formula and 10 minus 1 9 s square table value 19.02 2.70 it simplify this you will obtain the lower value and upper value of the variance same as the mean write the conclusion we are 95 percent confident for question is find the confidence interval so we are 95 percent confident that the variance this is the variance of all canes all canes means for a population variance represent the all canes of orange juice will be lies between this lower value and upper value 0 0.07 and 0 0.50 same as the mean okay this is the table i have already explained now homework for testing of hypothesis and confidence interval for sigma square or variance So, for variance if you use same formula and for a standard deviation if you take square root of this value 0 0.07 and 0 0.50 will be sigma. So, if you take square root both side this will be sigma and this value and this will be value represent the confidence interval for standard deviation formula is same. So, homework for both sigma square and sigma chapter number 10 page number 323 question number 1 2 and 5 for testing of hypothesis and confidence interval chapter number 9 page number 282 question number 3 6 and 7 okay allah hafiz next time we will start new topic